All videos on this channel are intended for adult Star Wars collectors. Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed, where I talk about anything Star Wars. I'm Richard, and on this episode I'm going to talk about the TIE Fighter from The Force Awakens. It was at the 99 cent store for only $8.99. You know, I remember seeing this the very first Force Friday I've ever gone to for The Force Awakens. I was looking around Target and I thought, well, it's not much I can see. And then one of the Target employees walked up to me and he says, hey, are you looking for some Star Wars collectibles? And I said, yeah. He says, well, come over here. Like it was some kind of drug deal. It was really funny. He pulls out this cart and it had all these different Star Wars collectibles and one of them was this and I thought oh my god that is really cool and then I saw the price it was $50 I was just so shocked I thought $50 wow $50 for this I didn't bother to buy any um, collectibles at that time then recently this shows up at the 99 cent store the fact that it even showed up at the 99 cent store was pretty amazing this is the third TIE Fighter I have. I have two vintage TIE Fighters, the white TIE Fighters, and now this is my third one. <laughs> All right, well, let's open this thing up. Ooh, here's the back. This comes with a figure. What's fascinating is we can see the face of the pilot. Very cool. Does it have any sounds? And this is before the force link. There's no lights, no sounds but it does have torpedoes. What does it say? The elite of the First Order Starfighter pilots have access to specialized craft, such as two-seater TIE craft outfitted with enhanced weapons and sensor systems. I love the color scheme for this one. Let's look at the figure. All right, generic pilot. Very stiff limbs. Yeah, very stiff. All right, let's put the mask on. It'll look so much better that way. Oh yeah, and then this goes into the chest. There we go, much better. All right, the blaster in hand. There we go, very nice looking figure. TIE Fighter Pilot for the First Order. Now let's get the TIE Fighter. Oops, stuff falling out. <laughs> Went the wrong way. There we go. Anything? Look. These fell out. Here are the panels. No stickers. It's all in the design, all in the plastic. Nice. Here we go. Another panel. Looks good. Kind of warped. That's not good. Look at it. Everything is loose in here. It's not tied down like all the other collectibles. I love the black and the red. Very cool. Look, like a window in the back. Neat. Two seats on the inside. I'm going to need to get another TIE Fighter pilot. Okay, let's put this stuff together. Easy peasy, I'm sure. So he's obviously going here. And this goes up here. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I think I need to push this down a little bit more. There we go. And does this go down here like this? I think it does. How do I get this in here? Do I just push? Uh, okay. I figure you just push it down. Whoops. Oh, I just shot the torpedo. That's what the red button is for. These aren't going in. What is going on? Get the torpedo back in here. Instructions. So yeah, just pushes down, but this is very hard to do, and I feel like I'm going to break it. It doesn't really want to go in. Ugh, come on, get down there. Ugh, there we go. See, that one doesn't want to go in. Dang, that's tough. Put that one down. Ugh, there we go. Why can't they just do that themselves? Why did I have to do it? All right, now I need to find the other um, torpedo. Found it. All right, let's put the pilot inside. Hmm. Get in there. It's a very tight squeeze. Maybe I should put his foot up like that. Um, okay. <laughs> Doesn't really fit well. Hasbro creates these vehicles that 
don't really see the, the figures very well. I can remember back in the day with the vintage vehicles and the vintage figures, they went in so nicely. Look at that. What a mess. All right. Well, I guess that's how it goes in. Where's the gun? Goes somewhere. Where does it go? Where does this go? Oh, it goes right here. Here we go. Ah, this one won't go in either. Very difficult. Come on. Ah, there we go. That was really tough. Does this turn? It turns, but it's very difficult to turn. Up and down. Okay, there we go. TIE Fighters pilot's weapon in here with him. Don't want to lose it. Okay, and which way does this go? It looks like it goes this way. All right, look at that. It's gorgeous. Torpedoes launch. Here we go. Awesome. Great looking. So cool. Just like the Vintage TIE Fighter, the wings pop off. Press this one. Do they? They don't? They don't. Okay. I have to hit the button on the bottom for the wings to pop off. Very nice. Love it. So why don't we compare this TIE Fighter with one of the vintage TIE Fighters? Oh, look at that. The size definitely differs when it comes to the wings. Dang. But the whole cockpit design, or at least the exterior, looks pretty much the same. What I, I really like these. Really thicker and tougher. This is my uh, vintage TIE Fighter that I got when I was a kid. I think like back in 78 or 79. The funny thing is when I got it, Kenner didn't include all of the stickers. So I only had enough for three sides. I had stickers for this, sticker for this, sticker for this, but not enough for that side. So I chose to wait and I put the stickers on this side and the stickers on this side, but nothing on the inside. And then I ordered from Kenner replacement stickers because back in the day, Kenner cared. And if you were missing something, all you had to do was tell them that you're missing something and they would send it to you for free. It was wonderful. We've seen the canopy opens up like this. The figure fits in like that. But this one opens on the side, opens in sides like this. Here's the vintage TIE Fighter pilot. Let's see how easily he fits in here. Very easy. And goes down just like that. And this one has sound. I don't have batteries in it. Where am I going to put that? Can't put it there. Not there. Nor over there. Uh, I don't have space up there. Nor there. Well, this is the only empty space I have right now. So, this will have to go up there. Surprisingly enough, I actually have empty space. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. If you want to be alerted to new videos, hit that bell icon. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next video.